namaste welcome to my channel greet terror so how are you i hope you're doing good today so the topic for today is what you need to know for today so messages for today so that is the topic okay remember these are general readings so take what resonates and leave the rest behind guys and these are timeless reading as well so whenever you watch this reading might have a message for you so as you can see i have kept three groups for you guys to choose from so for group number one it's the pirate pyrite For group number two, it's the amethyst pendulum. And for group number three, it's the carnelian. So close your eyes, connect with your intuition and choose the, you know, you can go with the color or any, or the crystal or the images. Okay, so just choose intuitively. And the timestamps will be given in the description box. I'm going to start with group number one. So namaste group number one. If you've chosen the pyrite stone with the love card, let's see what is the message that you need to know for today. So the first quote that is coming into my mind is that everything that glitters is not gold. You know, sometimes in life we are so caught up in work. We are so caught up with our friends. So sometimes we tend to forget the people who actually support us. So for you guys, there is something I feel like. Maybe you are not uh, not involving with your family that much or uh, maybe you are so caught up in your work because you want to have that uh, goals. Maybe you're so focused on your goals and it's a very good thing to go for your goals and all. That's not what I'm saying. But today you need to know that you need to recognize the people who love you. Maybe for some of you, this is a message for you guys to spend some time with it. Uh, spend some time with your loved ones okay so sometimes instead of um, attending some sort of parties that is not so needed why why don't we use that time and spend quality time with the people we love okay so maybe if you are someone who is very much involved in your work and you your kids always want to spend a time with you so this today maybe spend an extra hour with them or maybe you come from office tired and then the rest of the day is you watching TV or you're watching your phone. And lately, if you haven't been spend, spending some quality time with your kids, I feel like this is a message. Okay, so today, if it's possible, at least for one hour, talk, talk with your parents, talk with your loved ones, uh, show them your love, show them your appreciation, connect with them bond with them okay so that is one thing i'm seeing here sometimes we are so so much into this uh, world that we want to achieve this so we are just focusing on that and uh, and in life sometimes we forget to see the things that we have already achieved in our life right so maybe this is also the thing to be more grateful for all the things that you have in your life and uh, yeah you you should have goals you should and it's very good to have desires and to follow that but but at the same time take time for yourself do that self-love self-care as well as spending time with your loved ones it's basically to come into this energy of love okay so that's what the message is for you guys to, for, <laughs> that you need to know today and where you can give the love where haven't you been giving the love where you haven't been very compassionate it's the time to be compassionate in that area okay are you hard on yourself maybe it's time to be compassionate to yourself are you hard on your family members are you hard on your children's or whatever if there is some sort of uh, hardness that you have uh, you that you're doing right now maybe for some of you there is a little bit of a uh, hardness i'm getting here so change into be soft i feel like that's what i'm getting sometimes uh, you know, if you have kids, maybe they, maybe we, we, we scold them because we want their best. Maybe today is the day to show the soft, so, show the soft side of you, not the strict side of you. That's something I'm getting here. Okay, show more love, more appreciation. Maybe showing love to divine. Tell, uh, like, uh, uh, yeah, appreciating divine, appreciating for all the things that you have. That's what you need to be in the vibration of love. That's what the message is maybe you're feeling little separated yeah maybe you're feeling separated from the universe maybe you're feeling separated from the divine so what you need to do is to 
get back into the energy of love if when you get back to the energy of love you will see that things things will feel good to you guys so taking care of yourself is what it is maybe for some of you when you take care of your kids you feel love do that or maybe for some of you watering your plants uh, gives you a sense of that love do that right so what what makes you feel like that you're loved or what makes you feel like that you're giving love do that kind of activities today okay so that's the message um let's see what else for group number one what they need to know for today and i'm hearing the word resolution with love you or you will find the resolution to any conflict or chaos that is happening in your life so come back into the energy of love if you are stressing come back into the energy of love if you are uh, complaining about a lot of things come back into the energy of love that's the message group number one for you guys for today let's see what else oh wow we have sweetheart okay why not write a letter to yourself and feel the love right why not write the letter to your to yourself and say how wonderful you, you are how much you have done for other people how much you are doing for yourself uh, how much divine has done for you how much other people have done for you why not write a letter a sweet letter right Again, that's what I'm getting. For some of you, this is the message to spend time with your sweetheart, okay? Maybe your sweetheart is your child. Maybe your sweetheart is your parent. Maybe your sweetheart is your, is your pet, cat or dog. Or maybe your sweetheart is your friends, right? Or maybe your sweetheart is your partner. So spend time with them. Spend time with your sweetheart today, okay? So that's what I'm getting. As you're spending... Uh, so there is a little bit of stress in your life right now i feel like that so for some of you if you don't have a sweetheart if you don't if you are feeling alone why not write a letter how wonderful you are be more positive about yourself be more compassionate to yourself that's one thing i'm seeing here and the other thing is like spend time with your sweetheart <laughs> okay or maybe uh, your sweetheart is your project right your your idea spend time with that maybe your hobby is your sweetheart spend time with that thing and do it with love right so that's the message here so let's see the tarot what the tarot has to tell you today for some of you you might receive some message from your crush or a love message is also possible <laughs> because we have this love and sweetheart so maybe you will be talking to someone you like Maybe you will be getting some sort of compliment from your loved ones. Maybe they'll compliment your looks. Uh, or maybe a very nice gesture from your friend. You can expect that today. So let's see what is what else for group number. You're feeling a little bit bored. I feel like that little bit of like lack mentality is there right now. And that's why you need to come into the energy of love group number one. Let's see what the tarot has to say. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of struggle I see from your part like a lot of stress a lot of uh, Thinking overthinking so come back to the energy of love Let's see what else Okay, the card is seven of cups. Yes, like a lot of confusion is there for you guys You don't know what to do who you need to spend time with or maybe as I told there is like Sometimes we feel like oh if I get this thing, I'll be so happy That's what the quote was like everything that glitters doesn't mean it's gold Sometimes we look at other people's life and think that oh my god, they are having a lovely life maybe if you are in the same situation there is a high chance that you will not be happy maybe you will have everything that you are desiring for right now maybe you will not be happy right so sometimes it's important when you are desiring for something uh, ask yourself will i be happy there ask yourself that question okay it's very important sometimes we feel like oh if i have that car i'll be happy are you sure you will be happy or it will be just a one week thing and you will not feel happy again you know sometimes that's something you need to ask for sometimes we feel we look at the materialistic things and we feel like if i get it i'll be happy is it a long lasting happiness or it's just for some time you need to understand that right so uh, what are you wishing for 
be very cautious about that as well don't wish something because you because you're looking at the outer outer picture like you're looking at a couple and you're seeing that uh, they are posting a lot of photos on social media you you're like I, I want this exact type of relationship but you don't know what is happening behind the scenes you don't know because you're not there right you're just seeing the 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 things that people are showing you you're not really seeing it so it's very important when you're wishing for something wish for the things that you actually want in your life not because someone is uh, someone else is doing that that's why i want that no okay so be very uh, yeah whenever you wishing uh, wish with love if, if it makes you feel good wish otherwise just don't wish because someone else is having that that's why i feel like i want it no okay so that's what I'm getting here. Let's see what else. And it's okay to dream, daydream also. I, again, Nine of Pentacles, it's like um, maybe for some of you with the Seven of Cups and Nine of Pentacles, one more thing I'm getting is like there are a lot of opportunities that will be coming for you guys. If you are someone who is a person who does, uh, you know, who is working uh at yani through you know maybe business or someone who is self-employed i feel like if you are uh, doing that i'm, I'm uh, feeling like there is opposite opportunities that will be presented to you guys but you, whenever you are signing something or whenever you're collaborating with someone with the seven of cups energy do a background check again you know that also goes to this uh, energy like everything that is uh, uh, that glitters is not gold so maybe an opportunity will come and you will feel like oh my god this is the exact opportunity that i wanted and it has everything but maybe inside of you there is a feeling like it doesn't feel right it doesn't it's something is like sus with this opportunity trust your instincts at that time do the research because yeah because everything that glitters is not gold so be very um yeah Trust your intuition, be very observant. Um, yeah, that's very important here. So maybe for some of you meeting someone new and they're showing all that, you know, sometimes we lose, we see some people and we feel like they're perfect. So are they faking that perfectionism? We don't know, right? So take your time, take your time with that person. Don't commit to anything before thinking, okay, before your research. And of course, there is a good news for you guys. If you are someone who is a business owner or do some, uh, do if you're self-employed, I see there is some sort of uh, happy news that will be given to you guys. So love yourself. Uh, you know, if your baby is your hobby, right? If you have this project as your uh, baby, give them, uh, give that project a lot of love and do it with love. You will see a lot of gain from it okay you will get uh what you deserve right so yes that's what i'm getting here but we have this eight of swords energy you will be coming out of this eight of swords energy if there is a lot of chaos conflict through love you can come out of it okay so that's the message here so let's see the final message what you need to surrender for today group number one what you need to surrender for today surrender okay yeah you need to calm your mind here with this eight of swords energy again your thoughts are uh, speaking loudly your fears are speaking loudly we need to calm that so what we can do is to clear our head we need to get into silence okay so make some time for meditation or maybe going out in nature listening to the nature sounds will be very beneficial for you guys today and again if you're making a big decision if you are getting an opportunity before before committing to anything come back to yourself be in the silence you know ask that question should i commit to this thing and how you feel take note of that be very observant of that if you if it feels right go for it but if 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 you don't feel that good about it then you need to dig deeper okay you need to ask questions to them and get your answers okay before committing to anything in quiet meditation or contemplation let go and enter the stillness within silence can heal and replenish you so silence and I feel like when you get back to silence for some of you this can be a form of self-love where you're not being very critical about yourself and you're not thinking a lot about all the stresses so when you're in this silence you're actually doing good to yourself so be 
you know get into this energy today if you can have just 10 minutes to yourself do that why not you listen to this reading right now just go and uh, just get into your room just close your eyes and let go of one one thoughts one at a time and just sit in this silence for some time it will definitely make you feel good and it is going to improve your mood as well okay so that's all i have for you guys for today hope it made sense so uh subscribe to my channel if you haven't if you liked this video please like and in the description box i have my instagram page link so follow me there if you want to uh, and the text that i used will also be listed in the description box bye bye take care guys so group number two if you have chosen this amethyst pendulum and with the confidence card let's see what is the message for you guys that you need to know for today be confident if you feel like wearing that awesome dress and going out go with confidence don't stop yourself okay so this is this is the day to be confident in yourself and go and get the things that you want okay so maybe for some of you there is something uh, you want to do maybe for some of you you want to start something but you haven't been feeling that confident so you're not taking action maybe you're asking that should i do it shouldn't i do it you're like yes or no yes or no don't go with this yes or no just be confident and take action right so if there is something that you have been longing uh, for doing for a while but you didn't have the courage or confidence to take action here your spirit guides are telling you build that confidence and just go and do it anyways right so yes don't stop yourself because you feel like you are not uh, you know you're not enough you cannot do that you know sometimes it's our doubts it's our fears that stop us from doing so many things right so don't let that happen today it's like i'm getting wary of sunglasses and go out and chill and do whatever you want to do be confident maybe for some of you this can be about uh, you want to talk to someone but you didn't have the courage or the confidence to talk to someone why not why not go and do it today right tell yourself that you can do it and just go and speak to that person for some of you it can be like you have uh, fear to go to some places uh, or maybe you you have this fear of heights maybe why not do do that today why not challenge yourself and do something that that uh, you haven't done before right so that's what i'm getting here and one more thing if you're someone who is trying to build their confidence keep on building that confidence is always important right confidence is the key to success with confidence you can achieve anything right I have seen that in my life that confidence definitely changed a lot of things okay the way people look at us when we are confident is entirely different when we are not feeling confident right when we are confident the energy that we emit is is, is different right so this is like for some of you going through a massive transformation you are actually coming into your power i feel like group number two uh and you are actually building your confidence okay so now is the time today is the day to challenge yourself to do something that you haven't done before and take action <laughs> that's what i'm seeing here so maybe for some of you uh you wanted to start that instagram page why not challenge yourself and do it anyways maybe for some of you it's like talking to someone maybe for some of you it's making a call to someone yeah it can be anything maybe for some of you it's about going out and eating alone right maybe you didn't have the courage you always wanted to do it but you didn't have the courage to go out and eat alone why not challenge yourself and do it today or maybe tomorrow but yes there's something like it's like keep on building your confidence you're doing it i feel like this pile is actually working on their confidence so yes we need to understand that confidence is a skill that we have to cultivate into our life right it's not something that uh, we are born with right it's it's a skill that we need to cultivate we need to cultivate it and sometimes because of the outer circumstances we feel like that we are not confident and sometimes we even even you know even if we want to do something because of our lack of confidence we don't take action here today don't be like that if you want something go be confident and do your best that's the message here it's like wear your sunglasses and go go maybe you stay in a place um where people don't wear that much sunglasses and you want to wear go ahead and wear it you know sometimes 
yeah we live in a society where people do you know if yeah if you look at certain if you live in india uh, i know you can understand that there are certain parts where if you know if you are wearing a traditional dresses in your area everyone is wearing traditional dresses and you are someone who is very much interested in western clothes and you want to wear that so sometimes it takes a lot of confidence to wear that thing because not everyone is wearing that thing right you if you wear you will be the unique one you no know, and everyone might stare at you because you are wearing something different it's okay if they stare at you you be confident okay that's what it is that's what i'm getting here so if you are planning to do something different not maybe not everyone in your area is doing that or in your uh, community is doing it you do it okay and be confident don't feel sorry for that it's not they are not doing it, it's their problem you want to do it go and go get it okay don't let anyone stop you don't let other people's judgments stop you from doing what you want to do in your life so let's see oh wow oh my god we have this consolation look the fairies are giving you something it's like this person is doing the hard work right and uh, they even though they are doing the hard work they might have not been receiving that much in return but they are okay with it they have made peace with it and they are just doing their work right and your fairies has seen seen that work of yours and look she is giving you that extra consolation so for so, so this confidence you know this con if you are stepping into your confidence and taking action i feel like this uh, whenever you're doing that it will come with a consolation prize you will get some sort of extra benefits <laughs> okay yeah that's that's right okay so yeah wow i like that so whenever you're doing something like i want to do it i'm going to go for it and i'm going to um challenge myself and do it so as you're doing it you will see that you will get some sort of extra rewards for that you will get some ex uh, extra prize for that like uh, you go to a party and uh, you don't uh, uh, you know maybe only kids have this return gift but but people like you and you get an extra gift like that that's something i'm seeing here so your con confidence is actually going to give you a lot of extra rewards bonus so yes and if some of you have been feeling like i'm doing this much work i'm not getting that much your fairies have seen your work and yes you will be getting that consolation you will be getting that extra bonus you will be getting that extra money extra compliments whatever you want you will be getting it okay well wow, that's an amazing thing <laughs> let's see the tarot what the tarot has to add what is the message that you need to know for today for some of you oh we have this 10 of pentacles maybe for some of you in your family you know they you will get some extra cash from them or something like that <laughs> uh yeah they will be very happy that you did it uh maybe the the way you spoke maybe they liked it um, maybe they saw your confidence maybe they are seeing your growth or something like that and they will be very happy and they will give you something <laughs> that's something i'm seeing here let's see uh mm. oh wow yes again look we have uh six of pentacles and three of wands again you have been preparing you have been planning you have been working on yourself you have been like yes this is the time i want to take action and you know what uh, as you're building your confidence as you're working on yourself as you're building that self esteem as you're building your self confidence and you're working you will see that whatever you're giving you're getting back so yes so be confident do your best because the scales are going to be getting balanced again here we feel like the scales haven't been balanced you have been doing a lot of work uh, you have been working on yourself your inner transformation at the same time you have been giving that energy to other people as well but you were not getting it back but that's changing for you guys you're getting what you're giving there is this equal balance coming your way and yes your patience maybe for some of you it's like you have been very patient with your with yourself with other people and that's all working in your favor guys okay so maybe the period you know maybe for some of you have gone gone through a period of uh, slow progress but in the slow progress also you believed 
you believed in yourself you were confident that my gifts gifts will be helpful my gifts will give me what i want and yes that's what exactly is happening yeah for some of you it's like in your family member someone will be appreciating you and giving you some extra cash again here if you look at someone is giving you something someone is giving you something there is this yeah maybe for some of you uh, people are seeing your hard work people are looking how confident you have become and you're getting what you always wanted okay wow things are getting balanced for you guys your dreams are actually coming true slowly but surely yes that's what group number two you need to know and we have the yellow color yeah yellow color the solar plexus again it comes with confidence the more you're confident the more you're feeling good about it the more you are ready to take action the more you are not st stopping because of fear or your insecurity you will see whatever you want will be coming to you you will be attracting it yeah so the final message for group number two let's see what you need to know for today okay oh wow surrender to receiving support and love again there is a lot of love and support coming your way here again people are uh, recognizing you who you are as a person what you're doing what you're giving they are also seeing your transformation as well and they will be appreciating you and again it's okay to ask for help it's okay to ask for support maybe you're someone who doesn't ask maybe you yeah maybe you try to do everything by yourself but if you feel like you need that help go and ask for that help okay be open to that as well and when someone is giving you something appreciate it and receive it with love don't be like oh i don't want this i cannot take this no if someone is giving you something open your arms and receive it with that uh that with gratitude because it's like it's a form where divine is giving you something so don't reject what divine is giving you okay maybe in, in the form of a family member divine is giving you something so accept it with full arms open your arms and accept it allow the love and support of others in uh, rather than trying to handle everything yourself this can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you okay so that's the message for group number two that's what you needed to know today hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel in the description box i have my instagram page link if you want to follow me there go ahead and give it a follow and the decks that i used in this reading will also be listed, uh, listed okay so bye bye take care group number three if you have chosen this carnelian carnelian crystal let's see what is the message that you need to know for today so we have the card of hunger what are you hungry for group number three it's time to fulfill that are you hungry for knowledge if that is the case why not start reading is your soul hungry uh, for uh, for like it, is your soul hungry for love maybe why not put pour more love into your life practice self-love give love to other people is your soul hungry for support why not start supporting other people right or why why not stop start supporting yourself uh, is your uh, is your soul hungry for creativity why not do something that is creative for some of you you're feeling like your life is very boring you want some sort of excitement why not start changing your routine make the change in your routine if you feel like your daily routine is very boring why not make a change why not do something that you haven't done maybe if you are someone who uh, sleeps uh, until 10 o'clock why not wake up at 5 it's a change right if you are someone who sleeps at uh, 12 o'clock why not start sleeping at 8 if you if you don't read why not start a, a start uh, reading books if you're someone who watches a lot of tv why not cut your tv time <laughs> so it's like when you change your routine i feel like you will feel very creative that is also something i'm getting here so there is this kind of like hunger inside of you you want to do something but at the same time you're not taking action here your spirit guides are telling you to go for that hunger what is your soul craving for if you don't know ask that question you will get your answers maybe for some of you you are craving for that creativity maybe you are someone who is craving craving for more pleasure in your life so how can you how can you make your life uh, 
wonderful like how can you get that excitement maybe talking to your friends gives you a lot of excitement maybe planning something makes you excited do that maybe for some of you are feeling like you need to go on a road trip maybe that will give you a lot of excitement why not do that right so ask that what are you hungry for if you are hungry for love why not pour that love to yourself if you're hungry for support why not give that support to yourself so you can see more support coming into your life if you are hungry for knowledge why not go to the library check the books out or maybe research do that yeah so what are you hungry for it's time to take action hmm for some of you this uh, yeah maybe for some of you you're having a lot of negative thoughts it's time to clear your head as well with this negative thoughts yeah maybe you are seeing a lot of negative content it's time to let go of this kind of negative content what kind of uh, media you are absorb uh, are you know absorbing i feel like there should uh, you know you should declutter that as well maybe for some of your house is very messy this is the day that you start taking out of all the products in your home that you don't need what are the products that you uh, that is in your home for one or two years and you are not using it what are the clothes that you haven't worn in 5 years and it's there in your closet take it out give it to other people who can use it right or maybe just yeah uh, declutter declutter that's what i'm getting here as well let's see what else for group number 1 sorry group number 3 maybe one you came from group number 1 so what they need to know for today group number 3 what they need to know for spiritual angels thank you everything hmm. oh for some of you this is like uh, oh my god we have three cards popping up for you guys we have wedding oh for some of you you are hungry for a relationship so how you, you know sometimes um this hunger that we have inside of us right we want a relationship we want a relationship but at the same time we are not ready to take action towards it then how are we going to satisfy the hunger like for example a person is really feeling hungry and they have all the necessities in their home yeah if they want food either they have to make a call and do online de delivery or they have to go out to a hotel to eat or they have to go to the kitchen and make it otherwise if they are not doing anything if they are still they are not going to give you are they are not going to get the food right every time don't expect your mom to give you food sometimes you need to take action to get what you want it sometimes it's your duty to to um fulfill your hunger right understand that not everyone will come every time to fulfill your hunger so don't wait just it's time to go for it yeah yeah so we have wedding we have four and we have service yeah there is some sort of hunger you have you want to give some sort of service to humanity maybe you want, you have certain desires you have certain hunger to help people but at the same time you are not taking action towards it you are self sabotaging yourself because for some of you it it can be in the name of traditions like ah i cannot do this because in my religion we shouldn't do it we cannot offer that service even though i'm talented at it i know that i'll be very good candidate candidate for that but but my religion says that it's not it's not uh it's not good right but you have that hunger for that thing and you want to provide that services and but it's like uh, going against the religion or some way because the, with this wedding i'm getting that only or maybe it's in your family it's not about religion as well maybe in your family so someone is like telling you no 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 don't do that it's not good like uh, your family is just an example like your in your family everyone is a doctor or everyone is like engineer or they are in this high paying job and you are a very creative person who loves to draw and make a living out of it or maybe you are a singer who wants to provide services maybe you are someone who is very spiritual and want to give that spiritual services but at the same time 
in your family people are like no 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 this this will not give you the financial hap- financially it is not good it's not going to fulfill you they are telling you it's not going to fulfill you but at the same time you are hungry for this thing right and because they are saying these things you are stopping yourself from fulfilling that fulfilling your own hunger so right now yeah maybe your mummy mummy is your mummy or daddy is bringing you that food but maybe that food that they are bringing you it doesn't satisfy your soul maybe is the food you don't like but you are forcing yourself to eat that food will it satisfy you when you force yeah it will happen. it it might it might um fulfill your hunger for some time but really it will fulfill your heart no that's the thing so how are you stopping yourself because of traditions because of your family values because of your limited beliefs that your parents has given to you how are you stopping yourself how are you stopping your hunger and you are forcing yourself to eat the food that you don't love how are you self sabotaging yourself all these questions needs to be asked group number 3 and what you can do to change it you can only make that change yeah so let's see what else we have yeah oh my god here with this knight of swords it's like go and get whatever you want it's like you want a particular food and you're forcing yourself to eat something that you don't like why not run to the kitchen and make the exact food you want and enjoy it why not take action it's like you're thinking 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 not taking action why not take that one step maybe skating is something that you enjoy but your family is like very uh, don't know ni what why are you doing this there is nothing here uh, don't learn that it's just waste of time right and so you are like yeah maybe it's just waste of time but you know that this is something that you want to do or maybe you have done this in your childhood and whenever you used to do it in your childhood it actually satisfied you so much it made you so happy right there is something that is that you know that will make you happy but at the same time you're not taking action i feel like with knight of swords it's time to make that action it's time to provide that service it's because you will be very good at it but you are self sabotaging yourself because of these limited beliefs stop like again five of pentacles you're like if i do this no one will support me so it's better that i don't do it i don't take action no people will be there you will meet the people who will love your work or whatever it is right so don't eat the food you know are you planning to eat the food that you don't like for the rest of your life or are you going to make that food that you love and enjoy and that satisfies you that satisfies your soul right that's the question here yeah it's time to be in this king of swords energy like king of swords energy if you look at he is very uh very balanced i feel like he knows when he needs to be sensitive and insensitive he is very strict as well sometimes this person can come out of as insensitive right so maybe in your life there is a person who is very insensitive and is not allowing you telling you that like manipulating you into thinking that the work that you want to do is not good enough so, so somehow somewhere because of this person you're stopping yourself maybe that's one thing i'm seeing here for other people you need to come into this energy of king of swords and actually actually start start what you want go and get that food yeah even though your family made you food but maybe you don't like it so prepare that food for yourself <laughs> yeah it can be like oh maybe it will hurt your like i'm just saying in a metaphorical way like it might hurt your parents that you're not eating the food they made and you're making something where you don't like the food so it might seem that you're very insensitive but uh but that's the thing that you can do for to fulfill your soul right i don't know if it's making sense but that's the thing and this will lead to huge transformation when you start taking action towards the things that you want it will actually not only satisfy your hunger it will give you immense satisfaction and immense pleasure in your life right it will make you so happy and it will lead to a lot of transformation as well so now if you're making a decision for yourself stick to it and go for it don't let anyone tell you that it's not worthy or anything like that stick to that decision go for it you are the leader of your own life right 
So let's see the final message, group number three. Uh, surrender your attachment to results. For some of you, it's like you're not taking action because you are like, oh my God, what will be the result? Yeah, again, this can be because of the fear that your family has given you. Like maybe as I told, um, your family is a doctor family. Everyone is a doctor. So you know that uh, if you study for five years and then do PG, you will become a good doctor, right? You know that results. But something that you're going to do or something that is that your soul is hungry for, you don't know the results. So sometimes we become uh, too much into the result. What if, what if, what if that happens? What if this result doesn't come out? Can I take action? So sometimes because of it, we stand there. We don't take action at all. Okay. And if you have done something, if you have taken action, keep on doing your work because, because it's not about the results anyways. It's about the journey. It's about the experience. You need to understand that as well. Sometimes we feel, we humans feel that we have to achieve this, this by this time, but maybe not. It's just in our mind or because of the society we feel, right? So don't be so attached to your results. Surrender that concerns. Give it to divine. What you can control, only control that. What you can give, only give that. Yeah, you need to trust spirit more. You need to trust yourself more, group number three. You need to trust that this is what you want to do and go for it. So for some of you, it's like, you know what your soul purpose is. You know what you're hungry for. But there are people around you who are not doing what you're doing, right? And that's why there is this lack of trust from you, not believing in your own hunger, not taking action because you feel like it will not be worthy because of the fear, because of the insecurity. Somehow, somewhere you are stopping yourself. You are becoming the enemy of your own life because of it, right? So right now, let go of that attachment. Let go of uh, to know everything. Be go into the unknown and just trust. That's the message for you guys, group number one. I know it's difficult uh, but you know some but when you make up your mind when you believe in yourself then every path is going to be easier it's uh, it's about how you perceive even you know a person who is very strong mentally very strong even if they are going through challenges it will not be so tough on them so how you take that is very important so if you are in this energy of love trust believing that everything will work out then it will definitely work out. But if you're in this energy, oh, what if this goes wrong, that goes wrong, then you will see the wrongs more. And then you will be like, no, I cannot do that. I have to do this. My parents told me, let me do that. And I'll just go and do and do this, uh, this degree. I'll get this degree. But maybe even if you get that degree, it will not satisfy you. So that's what you need to ask that question. What, what will satisfy you? What you want in your life? What are you hungry for? Group number three. And it's time to take action and be very sure of it. Be very sure of it. Like the king of swords, they know what they want and they're going to take action no matter because they know that they can achieve the results because they have the skills. So that's all I have for group number three. So hope it made sense. Hope it resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and in the description box I have my Instagram page link. If you want to follow me there, go ahead and give it a follow. Bye-bye, take care.